While I was getting eggs this morning, I decided to make this big NFL sign. For football Sunday, let's go. another video for those of you who are new here my name is Clark Hazlitt or better known as adventure athlete holy cow that was a little exaggerated but anyways today I got a lot of fun activities planned for us so let's get right into it all right guys welcome I just got to the uh, mail room at my school so we're gonna go oh they're closed Let's go in there. Here we go. You guys can do me a favor and like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. It'd mean a lot to me. Now let's get back to the video. All right guys, so welcome to the uh, Linfield Mailroom. Thank you, I'll see you guys soon, probably. The next time you get back. The next time you get back. They're so nice. Wow. We're gonna head home and we're gonna do a little unboxing. Yo. About to get stuck in traffic. I don't have time for this. Hang on a sec, guys. Hang on, stay with me, stay with me. Stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. Stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. Stay with me, stay with me. Oh, shoot. Holy cow. All right, guys, so just like that, I just made it home, and I successfully, successfully secured the package. Hey. You get the bag and fumble it, I get the bag and flip it and tumble it straight off the lot. In a little bit, I'm about to take you guys to my secret studio uh, so we can finally do the unboxing on the package, but I need to get a bite to eat first, so. Whoa. I believe I can fly. I believe I can. What's up, guys? Welcome to the studio. <laughs> this, is, this is basically my room. I just try to make it look like a cool studio. Today I'm going to be doing something I've been wanting to do for a while, which is customizing my own football helmet. I finally saved up enough money after flying my drone for a couple clients in the city. Also, Sports Unlimited, which I purchased a helmet from, is also having a big sale, so shout out to them. So let's get right into the unboxing. What's in the box? I'm using a screwdriver, probably. Should. Can you give me a knife, please? Be very careful when you're opening these boxes here. Oh man. We got the uh, packing label. And here's the helmet. Welcome back guys. My box throw was a little bit inaccurate and crack my camera so I had to call my buddy up uh, to borrow his camera. So let's get back into uh, finishing up the helmet. This is the helmet. It's all white. It comes with this really high quality chin strap. As you guys can see, uh, it's pretty great. Just make sure it fits. Oh my gosh. It fits all right. Definitely. <laughs> oh my gosh. I uh, definitely need to take some air out. Oh my gosh, I don't think you can tell that basically it's breaking my forehead right now. <laughs> A little side angle. And uh, I think it's time now. Ooh, it's time to put on the face mask. This face mask here, I'm gonna take this off. So a little background story on this face mask. I picked it up when I was a freshman in college. So about two years ago and it's the 808 face mask by Rydell, Riddell, I don't know what it is. But basically I like this face mask the most because my two favorite players, Marcus Mariota and Baker Mayfield both wear it. Both players are great role models on and off the, well, on and off the field kinda. And look, he's just looking at the Kansas sideline. I also like their style of play on the field. 
as it kind of resembles to mine. So now let's get this face mask on the helmet. The only tool I'm gonna be using is a screwdriver. All right guys, so I just got the face mask on the helmet. Not gonna lie guys, this was pretty hard to get on. Um, shout out to all the equipment managers out there, especially Mr. McFerrick. Now, I think I'm gonna put on the visor and then lastly, the chin strap. All right guys, so yet again, um, that was another struggle to get the visor on. So shout out to all the equipment people out there. This is what it looks like. Now we're about to add on the last piece, which is the chin strap. I'll be using uh, one of my own chin straps instead of our uh, high quality chin strap over there. All right guys, so I just finished getting the chin strap on. Now only final touches need to be made. But as you can see, I officially have my own helmet for next year. Now that I have a helmet on my head, all I gotta do is make self adjustments. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe uh, and I'm really looking forward to the opportunity to have this helmet because now I'm going to be incorporating it in a lot of upcoming videos. Leave any questions or comments you guys may have down below and I'll see you in the next one. Good morning guys. I realized uh, I ran out of eggs this morning so I'm about to go get some. So just remember uh, that safety first when you're driving. All right, guys, we just arrived at Augustine's and yeah, we're about to go get two dozen. So make sure you guys stay tuned for my grocery shopping haul, which is going to be in the next week where I'm going to go to Winco and get all my groceries and show you guys what I get and what I eat. But for right now, I'm on a mission to get some eggs. I've only seen a couple people. Oh, here we go. <gasps> Oh, there we go. Got the eggs. It's football Sunday. Football Sunday, baby. Yeah. Shout out to Allison's for letting me film here. Mm. While I was getting eggs this morning, I decided to make this big NFL sign. Uh, football Sunday. Let's go. All right, guys. So I made it home, and I'm starting to cook up my eggs. Thanks again for watching this video. Uh, if you guys haven't had a chance to check out my Life as a Student Athlete playlist right here and my Day in the Life of a College Quarterback right here, it would mean a lot if you do so. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Yeah.